What's up guys, this is gonna be my final review of the Traxxas Jado 3.3. This is the newest edition. I bought it in early 2016 with telemetry and all the newest updates and everything. Uh, overall, this is a great kit. I have on-road tires as you can see, but it's primarily an on-road vehicle, but the suspension travel allows it to be moderate off-road. If you have the right tires on here, it could probably handle good off-road bashing. Uh, the biggest strong point I would say is just the flat out speed. It handles decent, but it, the decent, I mean, the handling isn't equal to the engine. Chassis is not really designed to, you know, take turns very well. I mean, it can do it, but it slides out a lot being rear wheel drive and the weight bias and everything is not very good. But, uh, this is the 3.3 Traxxas engine. This is the most powerful engine, Nitro engine Traxxas has ever made, probably ever will make because Nitro is dying out a little bit. Um, it has two gears so it shifts really well. I mean the top speed is pretty good. I mean virtually in a drag race it would destroy just about any car outside of hyper cars worth half a million millions of dollars. And really only a street bike has a chance and I mean by the time you get to the top speed you really can't see it anymore. So it's kind of a good balance I think. I mean as you can see right now the, uh, the engine cover is not on it. I'm replacing it over here. It's the old one and there's kind of screws and this is all around because I'm replacing this harness here and also adding on that. So I'm working on it right now. So this engine's a little bit loose. But I mean, it, it runs, it's just not in running condition right now. Nothing's wrong with it. But I just thought I'd do my review now while I'm working on it. So mentioning working on it, that's probably the weakest point of this RC car is working on it, maintaining it. I mean, maintenance, not so much, but working on it. Like if you want to replace a servo or you want to put it in the battery and charge it or just basically anything really I mean the wheelie bar the wheelie bar taking it on and off is a huge thing I mean because it's so compact the uh, design it's not really intended to be worked on you know not as much as say like a buggy like one of these like this here I mean you can get to everything really easily you can take things off take the pipe off easily and everything but that would be the weak point I mean it's like if you want to change the servo like I said you have to take off the whole front end if you want to take off this little ground wire for the harness, you have to take out the whole engine and the pipe and the easy start and everything pretty much. So that's definitely the weak point, but the strong points is it's freaking fast. It's really fast. <laughs> um, I really like the, the transmitter is fairly decent, but I really enjoy the telemetry that's in this version. So you can have the uh, engine temperature, the RPMs, the speed of the vehicle, you can have the receiver battery level, the transmitter battery level. I think I said the temperature of the engine.